so excited. I'm all packed up and we're gonna leave in like 15 minutes to go to the airport. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me for the entire trip. Let's go. Especially since it is like 2 a.m. our time, whereas it's 9 a.m. here. Genuinely, this is the nicest airport I've ever been in. It's so clean, like even the bathrooms, and it has these fun relaxation stations. There's some greenery. There's a very like modern, very wooden architecture and like seating. It's just so cool. We have about three hours before flight to Bergen. We're probably just gonna pop in some shops, get some food. I would love to get a magnet for my collection from Amsterdam. So right now, we are gonna go to Starbucks, get a little coffee, hopefully wake us up on this fine Tuesday morning. get some dinner because it is 4 30. I'm hungry. I'm also so tired so a nap would be nice but there's just not enough time. You can barely see it but there is water right outside of our hotel room which is so cool. The hotel is like right in the center and right by the water and everything so definitely walkable. In the last five percent of this battery. Okay I'm back. We washed up but I mean, my brother's version of that was literally just brushing our teeth. I did wash my face. I did some glow screen and I did my eyebrows and I curled my lashes. But that was about the extent of my getting ready for the evening. It's a little past five now and we're gonna head out to dinner. I'll show you my fits because I think it's pretty cute. So here it is. It is half stolen from my mom. I was wearing my gray striped shirt, but then I saw this in her room and I'm like, that's cuter. And then I figured I should bring a jacket just in case. So I'm wearing her white windbreaker raincoat and hocus because I want to be comfy. Chicken Caesar salad with bacon. Mom got burger, veggie salad, 
Ryan got veggie sandwich and dad also got a burger. Okay, so we're just walking around now. We went through this interesting alleyway that had like pathways going over it. Very like historic old Bergen-esque in my opinion. And they had some cute art shops in there with like prints. So I think we'll go back because we're coming at the end of the week and I'll get one because it was so cute of like the houses, the like iconic Bergen houses in a gold frame. So cute. <laughs> now we're just walking around. gelato slash ice cream of Norway and it's honestly delicious it's caramel with peanuts like chocolate covered peanut things very good mom and I just <laughs> we just did some shopping and now we're heading back because we're tired and it's like 8 p.m. there's still a lot of daylight left but we've been up for over 24 hours at this point so we need to sleep Alrighty guys, we are back in the hotel for the night. It is, you probably can't even see that. It is about 8.30. I'm starting to feel tired even though it might not seem like it. I'm shocked I made it this long and this far without like crashing because I really got maybe two hours of sleep on the plane. Overall, pretty decent travel day. I will say once we landed in Bergen, there was a lot of tension and delays getting the rental car. Sorry, that's probably annoying. And we were all kind of in a bad mood after. So once we got to the hotel, we needed some time to decompress. And then we just went out. We ended up eating in front of the famous houses. Technically we ate at one of the famous houses right out there along the water. So gorgeous. Unfortunately though, there's so much construction going on. There's a lot of scaffolding on quite a few of the buildings. So I want to say it's three of those like iconic buildings there were kind of covered up. It is what it is. We all as a family kind of walked around for a bit and then people started peeling off as they got tired. So first to go is my brother and then my dad and then my mom and I stayed and went in a few more shops and then came back. Another thing to keep in mind is that we're coming back to Berrigan on like, we're coming back at the end of next week. And so we didn't want to go in every shop or get our souvenirs quite yet, especially since we'll have to lug them around for the next week if we buy them now. But if we wait until next week, we won't have to carry them around, if that makes sense. That is the update. I think I covered everything. I'm gonna go back to the room, take a shower, get in some PJs, and then go to bed. We have a free breakfast tomorrow morning to look forward to. And I saw a really nice living espresso machine down there that I think will make lattes, cappuccinos, things like that. So. I'm excited to try that out and so i'll just wrap it up for the night now but thank you for following along on our journey to norway and stay tuned for more videos tomorrow we officially start our road trip across the entire country of norway so stay tuned for that okay bye